and we're live. Yeah. And we're live. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Hello, everybody. Okay, I'm going to do this in English. Uh, so everybody can understand. This is a question I got from Instagram. And uh, it was related to the uh, picture I post of the... Let me show you here. Uh, we don't have enough light. Sorry. Oh yeah, the iRig stump. Okay, this is a very interesting solution from Nike Multimedia, uh, and uh, very practical to play with your apps in your iPad, iPhone, or whatever. So, uh, it w the question was about levels and uh, if. I, we can use it uh, for live applications or rehearsals, etc. The answer is yes, yes, yes. At the beginning, uh, I was struggling with the same uh, things uh, until I put all the rig, the digital rig, from the, through the return uh, of the amp. So here we go. There is this is uh, the chain. I'm using with the, it's the guitar. I went, I go in straight to the DI box. Then I go to my uh, interface. Through from my interface, I go back and go through the iRig stump here, my input. Then I go the from the output. I go straight back to the Blue Guitar Iridium Edition. Uh, from to the return, okay. If your if your amp doesn't have a an effects loop, this is doesn't this is not going to work. This is going to work just with the return effects return from your amp. Um, okay. So I got my iPad, and I got the how this is called. This, the amplitude okay sorry <laughs> um fine it's like multimedia as well well but you can use it with uh, any uh, guitar amp or bass amp simulations etc so we have the amp the interface here we have the, ampli the, the amp sim some pedals in at the front of the input of the simulation then we have post effects like at the single of return of the real amp and then i have a, a gate an extra gate and uh eq so everything i'm using here is just uh the iric stomp the ipad and the return of the the amp i don't i'm not using anything else i have some more rig here but everything is off i'm just using the return of the amp the only thing is uh, that's going to work when you uh, put your cable off on the return of the amp is the volume the other controls are, are useless okay because you are going through the um the preamp of your amp this is very good also with the uh Seymour duncan power amp okay that's very good for that uh let's see let's make some noise that's my okay this is going through no simulation this is a real cab is my angle cab let's see right here if i can move okay now you cannot see it there 
with an SM57 and a 58. Okay? This live sound. This is going through the, those mics and the live mic here. So let me cut my voice. <laughs> Okay, the, that's a little bit loud. It's very late right now, but it's okay. Uh, so this is the real cab, uh, mic'd uh, through my interface. And I'm going through Reaper here. Let me show you. Uh, so that's my, vo my voice here, right uh, here. There you go. That's my voice. And then down here, I have my bus and my mics. No processing, almost no processing. Uh, I have no noise because I'm using the cock blocker. Yeah, that's Glenn's, Glenn Freaker's uh, new app, uh, new plugin, sorry, and it's very, very good. I'm using it on the voice mic as well, so we don't have any noise. Yeah, and uh, if I turn it off, uh, where is my voice here? Let me turn it off. Yeah, there's a lot of noise. So it's very good, and I use it for the mics, the DI, and the guitar. <laughs> Okay, that let me go back to the app. Okay. Here it is. Okay. Now I'm using the Soldano. Yes, hello. And then uh, I make some presets. Oh, something very, 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 very important. So you have the the f app simulation, but you also you always have a cap simulation from these apps. Make sure to turn that off. Okay, you can see it right here. This is without, and this is with. This is the pure amp through the real cabinet. If we turn it this on, we are hearing the simulation through the guitar uh, through the guitar cap. That's not good. Uh, also, it's going to take out all of our frequencies, etc. Okay. Let me. Uh, okay, uh, now let's check out some amps. Go back. An angle. I have a Powerball 2 right here. Yeah. 
And this is the simulation of the Powerball one. Okay. But it's very close. <laughs> Let me grab another guitar. Sorry. Oh yeah, more noise. Let me put, uh, shut up. Ah, esta guitarra está en re. This is this guitar is in D. Stand, D standard. Okay. It's very very good response. Um, <laughs> it looks expensive. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, could be an iPad, could be anything else. An iPad is very expensive. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, any tablet uh, where you can throw an app, you can do this. The iRix Stomp is very cheap. It's very, very cheap. Like, well, not that fifty dollars, twenty fifty dollars. You can find it uh, used. Uh, you can grab any amp, in um, any cab, or if you don't have an, uh, an amp in in the cab, okay. Let's show you another thing. Let's go to my screen, and we have. I'm going through the torpedo here. Torpedo remote because I'm using the torpedo. Here it is. Captor X. This is around $500. But you don't have to use it if you use it on your computer because it's already attenuated. Because I'm using a real lamp, I can attenuate it. Okay, and now. You can hear all my strings. In we are in a live situation. Yeah, a little bit of what remains of the sound on the sound passing through the the amp. Uh, but now I'm going to shut down that, those mics, and I'm going to 
put the captor in action. Okay, this is uh, how this works. Again, same configuration. We can go through any AMP SIM inside your computer right now. But as I mean, using, put it as an example, the iPad, I'm using, I throw in the iPad uh, straight to the, the app, to my DAO. I'm using Reaper. So, um, I'm using a couple of impulse responses that I made, okay, with the this angle cab. Uh, but you can use any free uh, IR. You can use any free uh, IR loader. Okay, let me show you this. Let me see if I can do it. Uh, yes. Let me shut down. Oh no. Yes, I can do that. Let me put. Uh, no, going to be part of another video. Sorry, <laughs> uh, because I have to disconnect the the this. But I can use. I can turn off all here. Let let me show you. I can turn off the the IR simulation. That's the amp without any cab. That's how the amps sound, right? Put on a, a cab. Okay. If I turn this off and using a, any any other simulation, we can put the uh, IR loader here. For example, the um, um, what is it? Lancaster. This is free. Lancaster Audio. Okay. Let me grab a an IR. Um, let's see. Show you here. IR. So oh, let me check one of the Glen Freakers. The last one, the Scylla. Okay, let's put this. And on this side again. Okay, we have now. Hello. Where am I? Here. I can have to replicate it here. Yeah. So there you go. Because I'm in, in in stereo, I have two tracks. Okay, this one, five, four and five. Okay, so I have to replicate it for both. Uh, or if I'm if I will use it in a bus, I threw that cap in a bus and that's it. So we have two IRs here <laughs> that I grab and are free. I have to put the level a little bit to a stereo. Here. Okay. Okay, this is free. This this Lancaster Audio IR loader pulse is free. So you can put it there. Uh it's not from Ignite amps. You can uh, go and grab your copy of the how it works, how it goes. Let me show you the the amp. It's very good. Uh, emissary. This one. You, I'm sure you you already seen that this uh, it's a very good amp 
But I, I'm using already an app, so it's going to sound awful. Oh no. Okay. With that. Okay, that's good. Let's, let's remove it. Bye. So I'm using right now this pulse, but I already show you. It's going to sound the same. And this is a free solution. You have, you only need to grab a uh, an amp sim and IR loader. And there's a lot of free IRs out there. So everything is free in this case. But uh, I'm talking about right now, about the iPad through, uh, uh, through the iRig stomp and how to use it uh, in a live situation, in a real situation, or in a rehearsal, rehearsal studio, sorry. Uh, so, those are the ways to use it. And I have to bring back the IR. Yeah. Okay. We're okay. Yeah. So there is. I hope you enjoyed this. You, if you have any doubts, you can do this in, in various ways. So that, that's, let me let me ask uh, ask me your question in the comment section, and we'll see if you can if you have any doubts. Well, they. Let's let's make a closure here. <laughs> the amps here are very good. Uh, so the answer for this situation is yes, you can use it uh, in a in a rehearsal situation, in a live situation. Okay, now this is a mess. <laughs> Okay. Also very different. The SLO is massive.
Really good. Really good. Okay. Well, that's all, I think. It's a very practical use to use the iRig Stomp. You can use the uh, other IQ multimedia products that are very good. There's another uh, wi wireless uh, switchers that you can connect via Bluetooth uh, through the device, the, the iPad, iPhone, etc. So you can make the changes of the presets. Very good. So I think that's it. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any question, please leave it and uh, leave it here. And I see you later. Bye.